All right, guys, I missed something on the last video, and today I'm gonna to show you how to get the highest resolution on the free scan combo. You can go down to 0 0.01 millimeter point distance. That is unheard of point distance resolution, incredible detail. We're gonna use the same exact part from the last video, but I'm gonna do something a little bit different on this run. So we're gonna use the free scan, the laser modes. Let's head on over to the computer and I'll show you how to set it up. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click the gear up top and make sure you have advanced mode checked. We want that. And then you're gonna start a laser scan. Create my project group. I'm gonna call this, for example's sake, partial HD scan 01. And then we're gonna start on high detail, not on medium detail, not on low detail, high detail. We're gonna hit apply, and then we're gonna go in and we're gonna do our initial scan. So I'll do auto exposure, scanning point cloud, local enlarged view, everything's set up, we're good to go. So now I'm gonna take the same part we had before and uh, props to Grant for giving me this technique, but since it's got markers on it, we can just do this real fast. I'm gonna hit the button, let it auto expose. We have success and I'll hit go. So now I'm just gonna capture a good amount of detail. Now I'm gonna stop right there because we don't need any more of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in specifically on this area. We're gonna focus on capturing the details in the serial number and these markings from the mold. You can see we've got my hand in there. All I'm gonna do is select a little bit of the part, select connected domain. Now it's just the part and I can invert, delete all that extra data and apply the edit. Now I'm gonna zoom in and as you can see, my finger is still in there. Doesn't really matter, but we wanna get this area in super high detail. So I'm gonna go and click partial HD scan on the left. And I'm gonna go all the way down to 0 0.01 millimeters. Technically this shouldn't even be possible because the accuracy is 0 0.02 millimeters, but just wait and I'll show you the incredible results we get. Got that, I'm gonna do auto exposure. It's already selected seven lines. Now seven lines, when you use them, it focuses it much closer. So we're gonna be scanning much closer to the actual object. And now I'm gonna select the area we want to get the super high detail in. So I just hold shift and I'm gonna grab everything around here. And then I hit confirm. Yes, it's gonna delete the data, cannot be restored, and I'm gonna confirm and say yes, because now we're gonna go capture that. We've got the part, same setup. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit on the table for ease. And then we're gonna start again. Now, the thing that makes this mode so good is because generally when you're scanning in very high resolution, you're scanning the whole field of view and it's trying to take in points of data all over the place. But when you select partial HD scan, now it's only gonna focus on the area that we selected. So I'm gonna hit go, go over it a few times with those seven lines. I'm gonna watch the light on the back of the scanner to make sure that I'm staying in good distance in the green zone. If I go down too far, it'll turn yellow and then red, that's too close. And if I go too far, it'll tell me to turn light blue and then dark blue. So I wanna try to keep it in the green. And I'm only focusing on that area. So I'm gonna get a couple angles. I'm just gonna go over that area a few times. It looks like we already got pretty darn good data, but going over at every angle ensures that we're not gonna miss any crucial data. And for computer resources and just how much the scanner has to pick up, again, it's only focusing on that area. So we're already done. I'm gonna hit the button. Now we're gonna go check out the data. Before I've generated point clouds or anything, we can zoom in and see it has filled in that area once again with a much denser point cloud. Now, this is gonna improve significantly just by hitting this button right here to optimize and generate the point cloud. And then we're gonna go one more step into meshing the actual data where it gets even better. So we'll let this chunk away. All right, so it processed the data, it got rid of extra points and it picked the best points for accuracy and now we can zoom in and see that. Yeah, that's pretty good detail. That's very good detail. So that entire area, just focusing on the one area, so we don't waste time, we don't waste computer resources, but we've got that incredible detail. Now the next step is going to be I could go and I could still delete my finger out of there. I probably don't want that if I'm sending this to the engineer. And I'm going to switch back to scanning the point cloud. 
Then I'll select my thumb. Let's just delete that, commit the results. This will take a few more seconds. And then we're going to mesh the point cloud. We're going to turn it into an STL, OBJ, 3MF, you know, what have you. All right, here we go. There it is. And that is cleaned up. Gosh, that looks ridiculous, but it's still a point cloud if we go way in. Now you can see there's also some texture that probably isn't like, I don't know, we'd have to look at this with a microscope to see how much of that texture is real. But we'll go here, click mesh model, and then standard features, hit apply. All right, so we let it process. That was about, what, eight minutes or so on this older machine. By the way, we are using a Core i7-9700. This is like five or six years old at this point. Uh, 64 gigs of RAM. Our graphics card is just an RTX 2070. So you don't need a crazy machine to run these scanners. If it's faster, of course that helps, but don't think you gotta have the most badass system in the world to run these scanners. Let's look at the data. Let's zoom in here and oh my good Lord, this is incredible. That is very high resolution. In fact, yeah, we even still got some gaps in there. So we could have gotten even more data, I'm sure. And then the surface roughness, obviously that's probably a little bit rougher than the actual surface. But as you can see, this is how you get 0.01 millimeter point distance with the free scan combo. All right, so that's 0.01 millimeters in the free scan combo. This is the only scanner in the reverse engineering category. Technically, it's metrology grade for inspection. You can use it for that too, but that's how good it gets. And when you buy it on visionminer.com slash scanners, it actually comes with this hard case, which fits uh, much smaller than an overhead bin. Comes with everything you need inside, power cables, markers, calibration card in the bottom, everything you could possibly want in one thing, even markers and other accessories up in this top part. So give us a call, shoot us an email, let us know what you're doing and we'll get you set up on a live demo to pick which scanner is actually gonna work best. That's what we're here to do. Thanks so much for watching. Have a positive rest of your day. I'll see you on the next video.